Beneath the bustling streets of Tokyo lies a hidden marvel of engineering. Known as the GCANS project, or more formally, the Metropolitan Area Outer Underground Discharge Channel, this massive subterranean system stands as the largest flood protection facility in the world. But how did such a structure come to exist, and what role does it play in safeguarding one of the world's most densely populated urban areas? To understand the necessity of this engineering feat, we must first examine Tokyo's unique geographic and climatic challenges. Tokyo is situated on a floodplain, with several rivers, including the ARA, Edegawa, and Nokogawa, intersecting the city. During Japan's typhoon season, these rivers are prone to overflowing due to heavy rains, placing millions of lives and trillions of yen worth of infrastructure at risk. In the 20th century, flooding was a persistent issue for Tokyo and the neighboring Saitama Prefecture, exacerbated by the region's low-lying geography and the frequent overflow of major rivers during heavy rain and typhoons. By the mid-20th century, Tokyo had transformed into one of the most densely populated and economically significant cities in the world. The rapid expansion of urban areas replaced natural floodplains and wetlands with impermeable surfaces like concrete and asphalt. This not only reduced the land's natural ability to absorb water but also funneled rainwater more quickly into rivers, exacerbating the risk of flooding. As the scale of the problem became more evident, it was clear that relying solely on traditional methods such as levees and floodgates was no longer sufficient. These structures could only provide limited protection and often failed during extreme events. This vision led to the creation of the Metropolitan Area Outer Underground Discharge Channel, a massive subterranean network of tunnels, shafts, and storage tanks. Designed to function seamlessly below the city, it revolutionized Tokyo's flood management by providing a robust, hidden defense against the growing challenges posed by extreme weather. Construction of the Metropolitan Area Outer Underground Discharge Channel began in 1993 and took over a decade to complete, officially becoming operational in 2006. The project cost approximately 230 billion yen, equivalent to around 2 billion US dollars at the time. Its design was as ambitious as its purpose, to mitigate flooding by diverting excess water from Tokyo's rivers into a network of underground tunnels, storage tanks, and pump stations. The system comprises five main vertical shafts, an interconnected series of tunnels, and a massive underground storage tank. Each component was meticulously engineered to handle extraordinary volumes of water. The vertical shafts, which resemble giant silos, are 70 meters deep and 30 meters in diameter. These shafts serve as entry points for flood water. During heavy rains, water from overflowing rivers is funneled into these shafts via an intricate network of surface channels and conduits. Once inside, the water flows into the main tunnel system. The tunnels themselves stretch over an impressive 6.3 kilometers, forming a critical backbone of the system. With a diameter of 10 meters, wide enough to comfortably accommodate a train, these tunnels serve as conduits, transferring vast volumes of flood water from the vertical shafts to the underground storage tank. The construction process required the use of reinforced concrete to ensure the tunnels could endure immense water pressure during peak operations. Additionally, given Japan's high susceptibility to seismic activity, the tunnels were designed with advanced earthquake-resistant technologies. This resilience ensures that the system can continue functioning even in the event of significant tremors, providing an added layer of safety for Tokyo's residents. At the heart of this network lies the system's central storage tank, a structure so monumental that it is often referred to as the underground temple. Spanning 177 meters in length, 78 meters in width, and reaching a height of 18 meters, this cavernous space is designed to temporarily hold floodwater during emergencies. Its total storage capacity of 670,000 cubic meters is equivalent to filling more than 250 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The interior of the tank is supported by 59 colossal reinforced concrete pillars, each weighing an astonishing 500 tons. These pillars are not just structural, they also serve to distribute the forces exerted by the water evenly across the tank, preventing damage to the facility during periods of peak usage. The scale and precision of this construction are a testament to the meticulous planning and engineering expertise that went into the project. Once water accumulates in the storage tank, it must be efficiently redirected to prevent overflow and ensure the system is ready for subsequent storms. 
This is where the pump station, located at the southern end of the system, plays a vital role. Equipped with 14 high-capacity turbine pumps, the station is capable of discharging up to 200 cubic meters of water per second into the Edo River. To achieve this remarkable flow rate, the pumps are powered by jet engines that were repurposed from retired fighter planes. This innovative use of technology not only ensures the reliability and efficiency of the system, but also reduces maintenance costs by leveraging tried and tested machinery. The impact of the GCANS project on the region cannot be overstated. Since its completion, the system has played a pivotal role in mitigating the effects of flooding caused by typhoons and heavy rainfall, particularly in the low-lying areas of Saitama Prefecture. These areas, which were historically prone to severe flood damage, have experienced a marked reduction in incidents thanks to the system's ability to divert excess water away from residential neighborhoods and commercial districts. By preventing inundation, the GCANS project has saved countless homes and businesses from destruction, significantly reducing economic losses during natural disasters. Moreover, the system has helped protect critical infrastructure, such as roads, railways, and utilities, ensuring the continued operation of essential services during extreme weather events. For Tokyo and its surrounding regions, the metropolitan area outer underground discharge channel is not just an engineering marvel, it is a vital safeguard that enables life in a dense urban environment to continue relatively uninterrupted, even in the face of nature's most powerful forces. However, the system is not without its limitations. While it was designed to handle severe storms, there are concerns about its capacity to cope with increasingly extreme weather patterns caused by climate change. The system's designers estimate it can manage storms with a 1 inch to 100 year likelihood, but stronger typhoons could exceed its limits. Maintenance is another challenge. Keeping the system operational requires continuous inspections, cleaning, and repairs. Workers regularly descend into the depths to ensure that the shafts, tunnels, and pumps are free of debris and functioning as intended. This upkeep is costly but essential to maintaining the integrity of the system. Looking forward, Japan is exploring additional measures to complement the GCANS project. These include upgrading existing levees, implementing more green infrastructure, and enhancing early warning systems for residents. While the underground system is a technological marvel, it represents just one part of a broader strategy to adapt to the realities of a changing climate. Thank you for watching. For more in-depth explorations of engineering and infrastructure around the world, be sure to subscribe and join us next time.